Who are you, sir, and where are you from? Well, my name is Jaime, aka Spanier Maski, uh, from Spain. So you see, Maski is here in the, you know, Canadian side of uh, North America. Yeah. What are we What are we doing today? You know, uh, we're gonna launch in Young, Young's Bay. Um, drive for a couple of miles with our boat fully loaded, and uh, we're gonna go chase some muskies on Lake of the Woods. On Lake of the Woods. The the Lake, Lake of the Woods. So, you know, bite looks like it's been good. That's what everyone's saying. Um, so we're gonna figure out and put a program together, and uh, we'll move from there. Um, I don't know. We're, I'm really hoping for a bucktail bite. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know, we have nice cloud cover, some winds, and uh, you know, we just gotta chuck some baits out there and see what happens. So that's, I think, the program. All right, folks. So as Jaime said, we are on our way to Lake of the Woods right now. Um, looks like juicy weather conditions, relatively stable weather with some storm fronts rolling in this week. And uh, it'll be my first time chasing muskies on Lake of the Woods. Jaime's been here a couple times, but not in this particular area of the lake. We have some good intel, so we're hoping to put a pattern together and uh, bring you guys along with us for the journey. We're going to be releasing hopefully several videos, kind of detailing this whole vlog of this trip. So it should be fun. Stay tuned. Well, we have arrived Young's Bay Resort. We're gonna launch out of here and head over to the island. Pretty cool little spot, interesting, uh, really interesting process entering the US after a brief short stint in Canada. But we're ready to rock. I don't know if you can see this. Um, we are locked and loaded using Jaime's boat here today. Um, this is basically a guided trip for me on Lake of the Woods. Not a very good guide anyways. Uh, because not only did we not have to take my boat, we did not have to take my truck, and he's gonna let me fish out of the front of the boat. So I'm receiving like the full service here on this trip. It's gonna be great. Little downer, uh, we just lost the drone. I'm not sure what happened. It, we had some pretty cool footage of us unloading the boat and getting everything going and us taking off from Young's Bay and the drone found its way into the lake. So that's disappointing. Luckily Jaime brought his, so we'll be able to get some additional footage at some point, but that is a extremely disappointing way to start this trip. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Either way, we're gonna go to the cabin, get unloaded, and we're gonna get on some fish for you. Well, folks, we are uh, about to make the first cast here on Lake of the Woods, and uh, it's a blustery, blustery day. But we're gonna throw some blades. We're gonna start small, see if we can get some fish to move. We may have to upsize. Uh, the goal is to find active fish and hopefully come back on them if they don't eat right away and kind of stock up our uh, bank of fish that we know are kind of in the area and whatnot and try some new spots here. So stay tuned.
You know what I hate about running the trolling motor? Is inside turns are always way harder to hit good than like a point. Yeah. Cause a point you got him. Ready? Oh. oh, it's a giant pike! Holy sh! Wow! So much for never catching pike up here, huh, buddy? <laughs> we don't ever do on the other side. <laughs> Holy sh! Let me spot lock us. <laughs> I thought I had one too, dude. The way that thing was digging. Holy cow. I'm gonna throw this back here for a second. You got her? Oh boy. Well, Kyle, you're the pike king over oh, here. It just doesn't end, buddy. It just doesn't end. Well, this is a better one than I thought. I mean. Yeah? It looks bigger? You want to keep it, give it a bump? No, I don't think so. I don't think she's 40. It looks like a 37-ish. And that's all I care about is 40, so... Ready? Yep. Oh, oh nice looking pie. Yeah, that's a beauty. That's a chunk. She's got a really interesting scar here on the side, but... Yeah, she's probably pushing that 37, 38-inch oh, yeah. range. Nice. Beautiful fish. She took me for a... Uh, a ride, I was surprised, but... Yeah, the net man was like freaking out. You wanna run that back here, Chris? Yep. I'll get it going and we'll... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ned man was like... Thinking that you had a 40 incher. Yeah, I thought we had something good there. Good oh, way it wow. ate. That scar? Yeah, look at that. That thing got chomped by something. That That's like a jaw. Yeah, that's probably pushing 37 ish, 38. That's a big, big pike. There she goes. I'm assuming that I'm I, I'm not supposed to push anything, so I'm just letting you do your thing. Yeah, just let her go. There she goes. Well, folks, that's a wrap on day one. Uh, tough conditions out there today. We didn't move a muskie that we visibly saw with our eyes. Um, saw some fish on side imaging tucked up tight to cover, mostly cabbage. Uh, I think we're in a hard, hard cold front right now. We had we know some people that were up here last week, and water temps were in the mid 70s, and now they're pushing the mid to upper 60s um, fish have definitely moved off of rocks as far as we can tell and into cabbage um, you know you're in a cold front when you're catching big pike on musky spots and that's what happened today so hopefully tomorrow is going to be better i think we, we were able to find a few weed beds that we're going to go play around in um, and see if we can't make something happen but yeah tough conditions hopefully it'll turn around here the rest of the week but that's all we got for you We'll see you tomorrow.